Hi guys, Aunt Ike here. I'm here to bring you guys my skincare routine. I've had dry skin for approximately two to three years now, so this is what has been helping the past couple of months. I have two cleansers I like to use, Dark Angels and Let the Good Times Roll. I use Let the Good Times Roll a lot more just because it is more hydrating than Dark Angels. It is absolutely my favorite. I like to pair my Let the Good Times Roll with a silicone sponge I got from Amazon. So now I'm just going to wait for the water to get warm. I put that all over my face to open up the pores so that whatever I'm doing is getting in my skin, okay? Let the Good Times Roll is kind of a solid. So after you wet it, it turns into kind of like a paste and I spread that onto the silicone pad. The silicone pad has been helping with just smoothing it out, making it one even layer, which I really, really like. In Let the Good Times Roll, there are some corn, corn meal, corn flour, when I tell you this is just corn packed, my boyfriend tells me all the time that my face smells like grains, but baby, it's good grains because it's helping my face to the max, okay? So after putting that all over my face, I'm just gonna rinse it off with some cold water. <laughs> As you can see, my face said, ooh, that was cold, because baby, I'm talking about ice cold water to close them pores right back. Some of the little good times roll gone to my mouth, and when I tell you it kind of tasted good, it did. I'm just gonna pat dry my face with my rag. This is the only rag that I use for my face, and it doesn't touch anything else. Now I'm just gonna take some cotton pads. I have about four or five in my hand, and you may be wondering why you got four or five, but I'll get to that, okay? I'm pairing that with my micellar water. I use the rose water micellar water. It's for sensitive skin and also for hydrating the skin as well. I use four to five cotton pads because I want my face to be clean. I have used so many different toners and they just haven't worked for me. But this toner works for me a lot. It is a makeup remover and it's a toner. And it doesn't like sting or burn my face, which I really, really like. I do want to try the Thatcher's Witch Hazel Rose Toner. But this is what has been working for me perfectly fine. But if you have used it, tell me down in the comments below because I do want to give it a try. The last cotton pad that I use is dry, and I use that to kind of take the excess micellar water off of my face. After I'm done using the micellar water, I take my cosmetic lad, that is also from Lush, and it has some lavender, wheatgrass, and some aloe in there. This is really good for sensitive skin because it's not too thick and it gives you the right amount of moisture. If I was going to use something thicker, I would probably just get straight up aloe gel for my face, but that's pretty much it. After using Cosmetic Lad, I like to go with my Mario Badusco Rose Water Spray to kind of set everything I just did. I used to do Rose Water then Cosmetic Lad, but then I kind of realized that Rose Water is more like a setting spray, so I like to use it after I put the Cosmetic Lad down. Now I'm just going to put some Blistex on and I thought that I should add this in here because I'm extra and also moisturize your lips baby. 
If you're moisturizing your face, you gotta moisturize them lips too. You can't be walking around with some dry lips, okay? And that brings me to the end of the skincare routine. It's pretty simple and it's really, really short. So I think that you can do this every single day. I don't do it every single day, but I try to do it every single day to kind of give myself a routine. So thank you guys so much for watching. You guys can see that my face is hella moisturized and I hope this kind of works for your face too. I can't wait to grow with you guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. Bye.